Thank you, Adam. This month is Hispanic Heritage Month, and much like Martin Luther King Jr. and John Lewis in the South, the late Willie Velasquez was a voting rights pioneer. Posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, Velasquez went from being an outspoken voice at St. Mary's University to creating the Southwest Voter Registration and Education Project. Jesse DeGoyado says some personal insight into the man and his family. Among her hundreds of family photos, this is Stella Aguilar's favorite, the little rascal's one of her looking just like Darla and her brother like Waldo. I think he was that, that intelligent little boy that always used big words. Willie Velasquez would later use his gift to both inspire and challenge to empower Mexican Americans a few decades earlier. Willie Velasquez came here many times long before the Bear County Elections Office was here. This is where the boy who would become a voting rights champion would come visit his grandmother's house. The boy whose family knew him as Billy, then Bill as he got older. At Central Catholic High School on scholarship, they called him Willie. Yet the first time his sister did, too. Willie, he says, that sounds so strange coming from you. Don't call me Willie, call me Bill. Soon enough, Willie Velasquez practically became a household name for Mexican-Americans, rallying, organizing, leading one of the first movements of its kind, registering Mexican-Americans to vote. Yet many in his family didn't really realize what he was doing. He never bragged about what he did. Aguilar says it wasn't until presidential contender Michael Dukakis came to pay his respects after her brother's death. Did her own son understand? They say the discrimination and inequality Velasquez and his family had witnessed growing up on the West Side, combined with the violent, often deadly struggle for civil rights in the South, just to register people to vote. Are why George Velasquez says his brother took on the fight that he did. So the voting is the power right there. But we have to vote. Jesse DeGoyado, KSAT 12 News.